All right, the saga with the flywheels. This is a 5.3 with the six-speed flywheel on it. Let's see if I can get a closer. Here we go. So, if you want to run the five-speed, you gotta get the five-speed flywheel. Go figure, right? Six-speed one. It's kind of hard to. Looking directly at it, the face is an inch and an eighth, pretty much exact. It's kind of hard to show it because my... There we go. So let me change flywheels. Let's show you the difference. Okay, and now we got the five-speed flywheel on it. This is like the 8.1 flywheel. It says metric. I don't, I don't know. I guess maybe because the pressure plate bolts are metric but the big difference is three-eighths of an inch it's a inch and a half to the face so that makes a big difference if you're trying to if you're having a low pedal issue or you just don't know what you have at least now you got a measurement you know which fly was which and this is on a five three four eight I guess on the six oh the uh, crank flange sticks out some so if you wanted to run a five speed, I would imagine you just have to use a six speed flywheel and that would give you the same depth of the uh, surface of the flywheel from the back of the bell housing. And then you could just run the regular 4.8 clutch if that's what you so desired.